Today I would like to discuss two Excel functions. Those are some if and some ifs. And let's see the differences between them and in which case you should use which one. And on my screen, you can see the Excel table with some data there. We have the column related to the color of different types of products and we have types of products in the color B. And then in this column in P, we have the sales related to, uh, to those products. Let's say that we want to calculate of the products related to the color red. In that case, we can use the function sum if or sum ifs. But before entering the function, I will make a list of the different colors from this column. For that one, we can use the function unique, and that is a new function from 2020, and it can be quite handy in the situations like this. We have three types of uh, colors of products, and I will do the same. One unique for this color column where we have different types of products. We have two types of products. Let's calculate the sales of uh, related to the red products, and let's use the function sum if for that. When you type the function and double click on that, you can see the syntax, and the syntax comprises of three mandatory criteria that starts from the range, and that is the range where your criteria is sitting. So in our case, our criteria is red and it's sitting in this column, in the color column. So I will select the column there. Our second argument is the criteria by itself. So I will, I will click on the cell. Alternatively, you can uh, use the, uh, you can enter the text directly there as the second criteria included in the quotation marks. And the third criteria is the sum range. So this column. I will close the parentheses and we have the cells related to red products. If we want to integrate another criteria and calculate the sales of red products, but those are road bikes as well, then we can, can use the function sum ifs. I will start typing the function sum ifs. And as you can see, the syntax of the function is different. It has more criteria. It, it ends with the three dots. It has three mandatory criteria. And the, the more conditions you have, the more arguments you can it can take. So it depends on the conditions. The first argument is the sum range. And the, in sum if, it was the last argument actually. So let's select this column. I must select the table column. And the next argument is the column where we have the criteria. Let's use this column again as the first criteria that is red. And the third argument is red. Then continue with the second criteria. We want to calculate it for the road bikes. So road bikes is sitting in this column. We will select the table column and then the criteria by itself. And let's close the parentheses here. Let's format it quickly. So here, and you can see the formula in the formula bar as well, we have the sales related to red products and road bikes. And we had two conditions related to two different columns. And you can use some ifs function when you have only one condition as well. And I will show you now. Let's type some ifs again. Let's do it again. And this was our first range. Then our second argument was red. Well, column really related to this criteria. So this was this color column and then our argument is red. So you can see in the formula bar, I have some ifs only for one criteria. And 
close parentheses and you see that we got the same amount that we calculated with the function sum if. So in that case, they are working in the same way. The, situation, uh, the case is when you have one argument and you know that this one argument will stay, you can use some if. But if in the future you are expecting that you will get more arguments to add there, even if now you have only one criteria, you can use the sum ifs function. In that case, when you have the sum ifs function, you can add extra criteria directly in the formula. But if you are using the sum if function, like we did here, and you want to add extra criteria, then you have to rewrite the formula completely. So in that case, sum ifs is preferable and it makes uh, it can be used for the one criteria and for many criteria as well. I would like to discuss another example. What if you want to calculate the sales related to red products and silver products as well? Well, some if and some if functions are working only criteria, one criteria related to one column. If you want to calculate uh, red and silver, then there are two options. One, the easiest option when you have only two um, arguments related to one column is, let's take this formula, copy it, paste it, and add to that one. And here, when we had the criteria, Enter the second one. So here we will have the sum of the red and silver products. Because some of the sum ifs, the condition is end. If you enter here that I want red and silver, it can't be in the same time red and silver, but it does not have the or condition. So you can use the formula like that. Copy paste the first the formula that you wrote is some if or some ifs, and then um, just plus and uh, change your criteria there. There is another way to do that, but this was the easiest one. To include some ifs as a nested function in sum, and I will show you that now. We will start with the sum, and then we will use some ifs. We will take the sum range and we have the criteria range like red and silver and this is one column. So I, our criteria range is one column, but we have two arguments in one column and then those arguments I will include in the curly brackets. Yeah, in the quotes, I will include our arguments, like the first one is red, and they are not case sensitive, so you can just enter it, and silver, and close. So you can see, it's formatted. We got the same uh, number, like uh, from this formula, where we used um, two sum ifs. And here we use some ifs as a nested function in sum, and then we entered the list in the curly brackets. So it's up to you which one we will, you will, but both of them are possible. So guys, I hope this was clear related to some if and some if functions.